Oh, we have the branding in the back. <laughs> we have the branding in the back, so it's all Are we on? right. Are we on? Do I need a set like this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to build an audience for a little bit. I'm trying not to be that guy that blocks everybody. You are so trying. short, it doesn't matter. Like, stand up straight. Yeah, you almost block people. Watch out. But the crazy hair is a thing. <laughs> the awesome hair is what I think it is. The crazy hair. This is I the... I got a weird, like... Weird, weird little shadow on my face. You're an I'm angel. In the You're spotlight. an angel. It's a halo. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. So if you we have, on? Are, are this I think, thing on? I think we're on. All right. We're no, on. I'm yeah. just going to stand up here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's adjusting the I think light. my back went out. Your back. Uh, <laughs> there. Okay. So we have um, something very important to discuss, guys. Yeah. It's issues. It's very issues because we don't like this. Well, One bit. Yeah, we're going live with Wine Time right now with mm -hmm. special guest Kurt St. John. Yes, but I noticed we actually don't have any wine. Which I know. Really, what's up with that? It was your turn to bring the Really, the, the only wine. reason I came in here was for the wine. We we'll get a oh, glass right, for well, the aesthetic. We have a glass, but... We have um, a glass for the aesthetic. <laughs> bottoms up. Wine time! <laughs> That's I'm style. so drunk right now. Yeah, right? No. Anyway. Yeah, I, it was it was your turn to bring the wine. I'm I'm sure yeah. I sent that email. Ooh, I didn't Bummer. see that. Bummer. I didn't see. Guests that. always bring the wine. Isn't that how it works? I think so. Probably should bring something. Yeah. I? I feel bad. If you bad want to be now. part of the cool kids club, <laughs> you got to bring the wine. Okay. So, um, what are we wanting about today? You guys first started talking about this story. Fill me in, because I'm kind of catching like parts. It's a story pieces. out of uh, yeah. out of the Twin Cities, where a guy mm -hmm. uh, went had his dog, which is a little Chihuahua Dachshund mix. So we're talking mm -hmm. a little guy. Girl, I think Ellie. Ellie's the dog's name. I think. So he uh, he has Ellie in his fenced-in backyard. Yeah. He runs a couple of errands, and he gets home and he notices the dog is not there. <gasps> so he thinks Ellie maybe got out, ran yeah. away, whatever. He checks his security footage, and he sees somebody open the gate, try to talk to Ellie, coax her a little bit. Ellie runs away. The guy goes after her, grabs her, <gasps> walks out. Did you watch the dog video? Naps no. Out. Yeah. There's actual video of this. His, yeah. oh his security God. video shows the whole thing. Yeah. Oh it is my brutal. Gosh. I watched the video. First, my blood's boiling. Like, what kind of a person does something like right. this? Right. Then I'm like super sad for the owner because yeah, he's he... broken up. Because Ellie, as you know, if you have dogs, you have cats. They are your, they're your kids. They're your best friends, right? Yeah. So when they're not there, it's horrible. It's a terrible story. I wanted to cry. It's up at QuickCountry.com. The thing is, they haven't. The neighbors are trying to help out. They've got posters up. They haven't found, to my knowledge yet, they mm -hmm. haven't found Ellie yet. Uh, but they're hoping that maybe they can. But it brings up how terrifying is that? You think your dogs are safe? Yeah, in I don't want to put them outside backyard. anymore. Yeah. Like, no. yeah. well, like there's people going around giving their, your dogs treats that are poisoned, yeah. and now somebody is snatching dogs. You want a dog? Go adopt a dog. Paws and claws. There are has so many dogs, dogs that need homes. Yeah, all so, the dogs. Yeah, right. So I just don't get it. And the thing is, now we don't have a dog now because Chancey passed away a year or so ago. But when and we've got a fenced-in yard, but I never left Chance out in the yard, not because I thought somebody was going to take him, but because I thought number one he would dig his way out yeah. Yeah. and he would escape, or he he was a beagle so he loved to bark. Yeah. And I thought he would annoy the neighbors, so we never let him out when I wasn't home. But you figure that your dogs are safe in your own yard, right? Yeah. Right. Man, how many pet owners are watching right now? If you're a pet owner and you've got a dog, cat, tell us. A little, give us a little wave, give us a little hello, and tell us who you have and what their name is. We want to give them a shout out right now. I have two pups at home, mm -hmm. Kuno and Mika, mm -hmm. and I love to let them outside. My one dog can jump over a six foot fence. Yeah. yeah. And Kuno is like talking to everybody that goes by and not in a way that anybody eskies. enjoys. So. It's eskies. Eskies. Anyways, I don't ever let them out there um, for long periods of time yeah. unless mm -hmm. I'm home. And um, recently, I've been tying them up in front of my house because we're trying to grow some grass in the backyard. They've destroyed all of that. So, um, but that makes me super nervous. It does. Like, I, know. I will stand at my door and be like, they're still here. Okay. I'm just watching them. I know. Like, oh, watching them. Like, when super I'm, overprotective parents. And when I, don't I read like that, that story, first I thought, you know, I saw it because it was, it was on one of the Twin Cities uh, TV stations. Yeah. And I thought, I was like, oh, this is a national story. This is from some place. No, this was right here in Minnesota. Not here in Rochester, but it's Minneapolis. Like just an hour north. Like yeah, yeah. 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 So it's not, and it's just, it's how awful. It's terrible. So, man. Please watch the video. If you recognize the guy, 
or you have friends in the cities, share it. Let's get this face out there and try and get this guy caught. Yeah. Like, this is ridiculous. Let's find Ellie, because Ellie, just a little, like I said, a little chihuahua no. dachshund. She did not want to go girl. with him. No. Ooh, Molly no. says, Molly says, we think this happened to our dog over five years ago. Sick uh, people. I know. Yeah, it's they awful. are. It's terrible. Yeah, they yeah. are. Molly, what kind of dog did you have? What was their name? If you can tell us, give us a little comment. And any other patent owners that are watching right now, let's have a conversation about this. What should we be doing to protect our dogs? What should we be doing? Should we be letting them out only when we're home? I think that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, I think that. Or the other thing, the other thing I thought, and it's probably a big pain, is to mm -hmm. lock your gate. Yeah. You know, put a lock on the gate so nobody can he get in. He had like one of those shorter gates though, and at least I'm thankful I have the six foot privacy fence. But yeah. I feel like even his smaller gate would be. You know, the guy could have reached over top oh, of it. Yeah. Sassy, a yellow lab, best dog ever. Yeah, she was. Oh, oh sorry, Molly. Yeah, that is, that's that is terrible. I feel so bad for you guys because I know what that's like. That's well, I don't know what that specifically is like, but I mean right. to lose a pet. Lose a dog to lose it, however, you, however it happens, it's it takes a lot to get over. Molly, <laughs> are you in Rochester? Yeah, Molly, if you're in Rochester, let us know. Did this happen in Rochester? God, I hope not. I hope not too. Ugh. But, yeah, People any any terrible. other pet owners, um, we're just kind of having an open forum right now. If you protect your dog, do you not leave them unsupervised? What do you do to make sure your dog's okay when they're outside so that this kind of sick thing doesn't happen? Well, here's the weird thing when you think... She's in Austin. 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 She's in Austin. Wow. wow. Okay. wow. Yeah. No. I would never expect something like no. that to happen in Austin. And you think, right, when you hear dogs, mm -hmm. you're like, well, the dogs are what you have guarding the house. Right. So you never think, at least I never think, that somebody's going to take the dog. Right. So that's it just kind of knocks you for a loop, and you're like, well, this is not right. This was, it's, it's terrible. It's awful. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. my blood is boiling right now. I mm -hmm. hate people like that. I would find that guy and punch him right in the face. Molly says we had our eye on the dogs all the time. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, and there's all, and this is the other part of that. There's only so much you can do. If somebody wants to do that, they'll do it because well, they're the a sick sad person. Thing. But I guess, like they always say, whether it's your your pets in your backyard or even your valuables, because we've had mm -hmm. reports of uh, people going door to door with different scams here in Olmstead mm -hmm. County, mm -hmm. posing to be pest control or. Right. Uh, with a satellite company or whatever it might be. So lock your doors, hide your valuables, don't make it easy for them, you know? Put yeah. a little extra something between them yeah. and you. Make sure it's locked and, you know, that can go a long way. It's sad yeah. that you have to, that it's come to that. And yeah. it's sad that it's come to that with, with pets now, but that's apparently where we're at. Yeah, pet owners, give us a little shout. Hello, whatever you do to protect your dogs. I have a tip and I don't know if this is true or not, but my parents, when we had an American Eskimo, Sam, you know Eskies there, Balls of energy. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so seven I, years old. He never stops sparking. I know. We had one named Juno as a kid. And Juno, what he did was he was just, he started to get a little too social, a little too friendly for a little bit. Really? <laughs> and he was a puppy. Mm. And then he grew out of it because he's an Eskimo. But um, Key word so, there being he was a puppy. He was a puppy. But my mom used to tell us, don't write his name on the doggy bowl that we had for him outside. Because that somebody could call him uh -huh. and use that as bait. Do you guys agree uh, with that? Is that something sense. we yeah. shouldn't be doing? That makes sense. For well, you I don't would want just your dogs go... to not be friendly. That's all. That's the hard well, thing. Well, that's with the your thing. kids yeah. too. You yeah. don't want them to be jerks yeah. to people, but you don't want them to talk to strangers. And like, it's where is that fine line that you don't cross? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't know. It's it's a challenge. No yeah. problem, Molly. Yeah, we Molly, love you. We're very yeah, sorry. Sorry to hear that, Molly. Thanks for checking us yeah, out. Yeah, thanks for having a conversation, guys. Um, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, for yeah. Now. yeah. But feel free to keep the comments going, talking about you know what we should be doing to protect our pets. Yeah. And, go and hug your pets video. when you get home. Hug yeah. them for me, will you? Because I don't have a dog right now, so hug them for me. Yeah. You have four to get in well, your. I have four arms. cats, but we don't <laughs> have any. We don't have any dogs. So. And I love the cats, but I'm I'm a dog guy too. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So feel free to keep the conversation going. Share that post that Kurt St. John did about the puppy that yeah. was stolen Check it out. in St. Paul or yeah. in the cities. Yeah. I can't remember if it was St. Paul or Minneapolis. It was Minneapolis, yeah. yeah. But, Minneapolis. Yeah. Yeah, we want to try to find Elsie. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do. Thank you guys for spending right. a little time with us. Bye. Woo. Have a good day. Later.